Thank you, Madam Chair. <clears throat> Congratulations to all of you on your nominations. Um, let me start with you, Mr. Heffern. Uh, in your opening statement, uh, you said that President Obama has recognized and deplored the horrific events that took place in the waning days of the Ottoman Empire. And he went on to say uh, and noted that he, I assume that was the president, publicly called the massacre of 1.5 million Armenians at the time one of the worst atrocities of the 20th century. I, I welcome that statement, but I'd like to explore it a little bit more with you. Do you uh, agree that there were mass killings ethnic cleansing and forced deportations of over one and a half million Armenians during the period that the Ottoman Empire existed? Uh, Senator, yes, as, uh, as the President has said, the, 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 mur the, mass the massacres and the, uh, the, the, the forced deportations uh, leading to the deaths of uh, 1.5 million Armenians is uh, acknowledged and recognized and deplored by President Obama, and yes, sir, uh, I, I believe it as well. Okay. And that those were conducted at the time by the Ottoman Empire, is that true? Those were conducted at the time of the in the final days of the Ottoman Empire, yes sir. Now we as a country and I assume this administration recognizes the Turkish Republic as a successor state to the Ottoman Empire, is that true? Senator, I assume that's true. I don't know that that's true. I assume that's true. I mean, it has to be true. So, yes, sir, I, I, I'm, I'm going to just take that as true. But I don't. I have to say I don't know that specific. That specifically. Let me ask you this: Article Two of the Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide, of which the United States has both signed and ratified, states in the present convention: Genocide means any of the following acts committed with the intent to destroy, in whole or in part a national, ethnic, racial, or religious group. As such, A, killing members of the group, B, causing serious bodily or mental harm to members of the group, C, deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part, uh, and it goes on to other elements. Those are uh, a convention from which we, the United States, have signed. Now, if those are, are the convention by which the United States is willing to be a signatory to. Would not the facts that you acknowledge in your opening statement during the period of 1915 to 1923 and that in furtherance of the answers to my questions meet the definition of Article 2? Senator, you have accurately described Article 2, the definition of genocide in the convention, so yes to that part of the question. Uh, the, and yes to the, the facts that were in my statement and that you've, and that you've repeated. Uh, but the characterization uh, of those events, Senator, is a, is a policy decision that, uh, that is made by the President of the United States, and that policy is enunciated in his April 24th uh, Remembrance Day statement. Are you aware of uh, cables that exist from former Ambassador Henry Morgenthau uh, who was the ambassador, uh, U.S. ambassador to Turkey, uh, from 1913 to 1916, from the U.S. Council in Aleppo, from the U.S. Council in Harput, from, uh, uh, Ambassador Morgenthau, who was succeeded by Abraham Elkus, who served as ambassador from 1916 to 17. Have, have you had an opportunity to read any of those? Uh, Senator, yes, I've seen the uh, the compilation uh, that Mr. Sarabian has has put together uh, of documents from the time. So, yes, sir, I have seen a, a large number of them. You have no reason to dispute what those uh, 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 dispatches were. Those those foreign service officers at the time, uh, sir, reported uh, what they saw and how they perceived events at the time. Yes, sir. Okay, I. Uh, I just want to say, Madam uh, Chair, uh, this is a difficult set of circumstances, and I appreciate your answers. Uh, this is a, a inartful dance that we do. We have a State Department whose history, full of dispatches, cites the atrocities committed during this period of time. We have a convention from which we sign on to as a signatory that clearly defines these acts as genocide. We have a historical knowledge of the facts which we accept 
that would amount to genocide, but we are unwilling to reference it as genocide. And if we cannot accept the past, we cannot move forward. And so I find it very difficult to be sending diplomats of the United States to a country in which they will go, and I hope you will go, as some of your predecessors have, to a uh, genocide commemoration, uh, and yet never be able to use the words genocide. It is much more than a question of uh, a word. It is everything that, that signifies our commitment to saying never again. And yet we can't even acknowledge this fact, and we put diplomats in a position that I think is uh, totally untenable.